the news, but can read all the way where the angel of hate are from. There's an angel just came here. <laughs> I just saw him, he told you. Sit down. Look at that. Take it up in verse 26 of Luke 1. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to the city of Galilee named Nazareth. To a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name So Luke 1, verse 26. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. For when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. I'm going to read it again. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. And then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive and bring forth a son. And you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. And then Mary said to the angel, How can this be? Since I do not know a man. And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you, and therefore also that one, that holy one, who is to be born, will be called the Son of God. And now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her, who was to be called barren, who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. Oh, then Mary said, Behold, the maid servant of the Lord, and let it be to me according to your word, and the angel departed from her. So Elizabeth was Elizabeth was six months six months ahead of Mary. She was six months pregnant ahead of Mary. All right. So John the Baptist would be six months older. Did I say that right? Six months older than Jesus. Look what it says. Well, in the natural. Look what it says. 
Then Mary said, Behold, the maidservant of the Lord, let, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. And now Mary rose in those days and went to the hill country with haste to a city of Judah and entered the house of Zachariah and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the baby leaped, or the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ear, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who believed that there will be a fulfillment of those things which was told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God. regarded the lowly state of his maid servant. For behold, and henceforth, all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things to me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abel, and to his seed forever. And Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her house. So Mary, she stayed with Elizabeth, to the birth time or the birthing of John. See that? And now Elizabeth's full time came to to be delivered to go forth a son. And when neighbors and relatives heard how the Lord had shown great mercy to her, they rejoiced with her. And so it was on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child. They would have called him by the name of his father, Zachariah. And his mother answered, No, he shall be called John. But they said to her, There is no one among your relatives who is called by this name. So they made signs to, the fa to his father what he would have him called. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. So they all marveled. His mouth was open, and his tongue was loosed, and he spoke, praising God. Turn to the Lord now and let let your mouth be loosed, let your tongue be loosed, and praise the Lord in the beauty of holiness in tongues. Rima kosha kata kata ta Rinda rebe koro bo toro bo shikri ukle kana handa ra shaira Rinda rebe koto ro bo soto ro shoro bo soto ro ikilia Rinda ri pie zeri kri re soto ro shikri Rakata ila kada ra ba soto ro shikri ria kala ha 
streets where the fire is not quenched. No place that was prepared for the devil and his angels. And now according to Luke 1, 68, Blessed is the Lord God of Israel, Yahweh, for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. And as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, who have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant the oath which he stole to our father Abraham to grant us that we being delivered from the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. In holiness and in righteousness before him all the days of our life. Your child will be called the prophet of the highest for you will go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way. And John said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And when he saw Jesus coming, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of this world. He said, I am not worthy to even loose your sandals, but you come to me to be baptized. And Jesus said, Suffer it that it be so for now, that all things might be fulfilled in the scriptures. So, Lord, suffer it that it might be so, that all things might be fulfilled according to the scriptures, that your spirit and your word is one and you do not contradict. It's in holiness and righteousness and justice that you don't judge, that you don't reign from the throne of heaven. And I heard the Lord say, I heard him say that like Mary was chosen to bear the Son of God, to bring forth the Messiah, virgin birth, hallelujah. And all around her, there was, there were people who would have questioned her. There were people who would have uh, renounced her. Who they would have said that she was an unmarried woman who had conceived um, without being mar married. Joseph, when he found out that she was with child, he he was willing to put he, he was willing to put her away very quietly. But an angel of the Lord came to Joseph in a dream. An angel of the Lord came to Joseph and he told him, don't, for what is conceived within Mary or the Virgin was and is the Messiah. And even now I hear the Lord say, what is happening and born in the spirit is of God. And the world does not conceive it. And the world does not understand it. But he said, just like Mary had to uh, submit had to allow
allow the Lord's will to come to pass. Even the, she submitted to the word. She said, beat unto your maid servant according to your word. Just like she had to, just like she had to um, bow the knee. And the thing that happened of her was God's will. The thing that happened of her was what the Lord had sent the angel Gabriel to bring forth. I heard him say just like that. The church has to bring forth because he's sending a message through his servant. He's sending a message through an angel. He's sending a message to the church that what is conceived within your womb you will bring forth and you will bring it forth with gladness. The world will not understand. They will call you stupid. They will call you uh, crazy. They will call you all sorts of stuff they will call you. Okay? They will call you. They will call you they will call you all sorts. But God calls you blessed. God calls you his beloved. God calls you his chosen. God has called you a light and salt. God has made his name on your foreheads. God has placed his statutes within your heart. God has done it. And if he has done it, who could stand against it? For if God be with you, who could be against you? As it was in the days of the virgin birth. Joseph himself, the very one that loved Mary before she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Before God had implanted himself in her womb, she was accepted by Joseph. He didn't have a problem with her. Because to marry a virgin would be the thing that you do, right? But when it was found that she had a child, where did this child come from? It was no longer something that people would esteem. I heard the Lord saying that whatever he does, when he moves in glorious ways and when he moves in mighty ways, he sets the hearts of men to ponder. He sets the heart of men to consider what he has done. He sets the heart of men to look up and know that he is God. He sets the heart of men to esteem him. He sets the heart of men to acknowledge that he is God. And the things that are not esteemed by men is fully esteemed by God. God uses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. And just like that came forth the Savior of the world, God himself wrapped up in swaddling cloth from the virgin's womb to lay in a manger among animals in a stable. You would think that it would be a glorious throne room you would think that it would be a, a place of gold and silver of, you know, paced down like where kings and queens are born. But the Bible tells us that there was no room, even in an inn, for Mary to bring forth a child. In Luke chapter 2, And it said, take it up, verse 7, verse 6. And so it was, while they were there, for the registration, with and so it was there, 
because they went to the register. Remember, they had to go to the register, right? Look what it says. And he, she brought forth her firstborn, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for him, even in a hotel or in an inn. And now there were in the same country shepherds, living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. And then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill towards men. And so it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe laying in a manger. And when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning the child. And all those who heard it marveled at the things which were told to them by the shepherds. <laughs> Hallelujah, good God. But Mary kept all those things and pondered them in her heart. And then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. tells us that that the wise men wise men came and they worshipped before Jesus they worshipped before him and they laid gifts of gold and silver and frankincense and myrrh and sandalwood they laid the gifts of kings before him wise men and kings of the east though they came they came they came and they worshipped before the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord was upon them. Do you know, 2,000 years ago, over 2,000 years ago, there was born in Bethlehem Savior of our souls. And they laid before him the gifts of kings. Because just like the shepherds had seen the angels, I'm getting choked up. Just like the just like the shepherds had seen the angels. And just like uh, the wise men were told not to go back to Herod or to come, because this day there was born, come with me in the book of Matthew, and see your king, behold him. And just like they laid down the gifts of gold and silver, frankincense and myrrh, I want you to lay down your spirit now. Lay down your heart. Lay down. Lay down before the Lord. In the book of Matthew. Pick it up, verse 19. I'm going to read straight on to Matthew 2, all right? Matthew 1, verse 19. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not wanting to make her public example, was minded to put her away secretly. 
he loved us, so he loved us. But while he taught about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child. And bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. And then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took him his wife, and did not know her till she had brought forth a firstborn son, Jesus. And he called his name. Jesus. In Matthew chapter 2, now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. There came wise men from the east. And when Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered the chief priests, yes, my pause is raising. <laughs> and when he had gathered the chief priests and the scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. And so they said to him in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it was written by the prophet, but you Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. And then Herod, when he had secretly called for the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. See, he didn't want another king in the land. He thought he could take it away. He thought he could destroy this king. It says, when Herod when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star would appear, and he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, Go, and search carefully for the young child. When you found him, bring back word to me, that I may come and worship him also. And when they heard the king, they departed. And behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood where with the young child when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened the treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Hallelujah. And then being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another way. And now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. And when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night, and departed for Egypt, and was there until the death of Herod that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord, through the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt, I called my son. Our beloved, I hear the Lord say, even as, what would have been shameful to Mary, and what would have been unesteemed by many, was greatly esteemed by God. And all of this greatness came forth, our Savior came forth. Hallelujah. Our Savior came forth. And while people misrepresent who Jesus is, misrepresent what being a true Christian, I'm not talking a fly-by-night Christian, I'm talking about 
one who is consecrated by Jesus Christ living inside himself. By Jesus leading the Good Shepherd, the Holy Spirit, while they mock and they pervert that way. This is what true Christianity is about. Christians is being led by Christ. And he is the Holy Spirit, for he is Yahweh. Come to us, Iman. And this, this, this is just, this is glorious. I feel the Lord. This is glorious. I just want you to take that moment right now. And thank Him for what He's done. How gracious has He been. How gracious has He been to us. He's glorious in all the earth. He's glorious to be praised. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy. Glory to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. He is glorious in His holy temple. He is glorious upon His throne. He is glorious. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy. The Ancient of Days. The Ancient of Days. He is. He was. and will forever be. Christ Jesus the King. The King of Glory. Some only saw when he walked on the earth. Others saw that he was crucified and risen again on the third day, ascended to heaven. And we, at the foot of the cross by faith, at the foot of the cross, we received the blood that he shed Yeshua HaMashiach, Hashem, for there is no other name that is higher than Jesus. There is no other name that is greater. When we say Jesus, we proclaim God as a Savior. And that's why those who are truly seeking Him, find Him as Yahweh. Those who are truly seeking God, find Him. As Jesus Christ. Because he is. The Lord is one. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu. Adonai Echad. Hear Israel. The Lord. He is God. The Lord. He is one. The Lord is one. The Lord is one. Hallelujah. The morning is coming. Hold on. Maybe we can get a little glimpse of the sky here now. Hebrews numbers. Concluding.
Thank <laughs> you. 